If you look at what Joe Biden inherited, he came into office with the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. Right now, one of the talking points of the White House is this problem can't be solved. That talking point simply is not correct. What caused this crisis was a decision that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris made literally the first week in office. They halted construction of the border wall. They reinstated catch and release. And they pulled out of the incredibly successful remain in Mexico policy. Those decisions caused this crisis. Last night, when we encountered the group, we asked them, how many of y'all believe you get to stay in America? Every one of them said, absolutely, we get to stay. As long as that's the case, they will keep coming. And understand, Joe Biden doesn't want to fix this problem. He doesn't want to secure the border. Kamala Harris doesn't want to secure the border. Chuck Schumer doesn't want to secure the border. Alejandro Mayorkas doesn't want to secure the border. Here's what they want to do. They want to speed up the processing of illegal immigrants. They want to make it even faster. They want more illegal immigration. They want 8 million to become 10 million, to become 15, to become 20 million. To understand the enormous hypocrisy on this issue, look no further than the blue state governors and the blue state mayors who are declaring crises. Look at Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, who has said illegal immigration is a crisis and illegal immigration is destroying New York City. And New York City has had roughly 110,000 illegal immigrants. I don't disagree with Mayor Adams on that. But the last I checked, New York City is a hell of a lot bigger than McAllen, Texas. Just in the Rio Grande Valley sector, Border Patrol agents have detained over one million illegal immigrants in the last two and a half years. If 110,000 is destroying a giant metropolis like New York, what about the devastation here in South Texas? Understand this is deliberate. They're not trying to stop it. They want more of this. And, and I got to say, the absolute lack of compassion from this administration. I asked Alejandro Mayorkas, I said last year, how many migrants died crossing illegally into this country? He said, I don't know. I have no idea. The answer is 853. But the Biden administration can't be bothered to worry about the body bags that are piling up. We've introduced lots of legislative steps that can all make a difference, but none of it will work. Zero will work. As long as you have a president of the United States who defies the law, who simply says, if you come to this country, we will let you go. That's what's caused this crisis. And I'll point out, by the way, Mayor Adams blames quote, that madman in Texas, by which I'm pretty sure he meant Greg Abbott, although I have to say I was offended he wasn't talking about me, <laughs> because Greg Abbott has sent 10 to 20,000 illegal immigrants by bus to New York City. The rest of them were sent by Joe Biden, and even the Democrat governors and mayors, they can't bring themselves to point out the person who caused this crisis is named Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr. And by the way, a fellow New Yorker, Charles Schumer, and every Democrat senator is completely complicit in it. And if Mayor Adams doesn't know Chuck Schumer's cell phone, we'd be glad to give it to him. Because Senate Democrats could force Biden to stop this, but they don't want to. And that is profoundly inhumane.